Yeah, I'm pulling. On the Manning cast last night, they were talking to Aaron Rodgers about the cold in Green Bay, and I think Eli said, you're from California. How do you get used to the cold? He goes, no, 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 you don't get used to the cold. But you're sitting there when it's 12 degrees thinking, that guy's way colder than I am. Yeah. That team that's coming in here is way colder than I am. And, it, and mentally, it makes you think, like, ah, I'm tougher because these guys are in worse shape. When I talk to somebody in Los Angeles, they'll go, uh, God, it's cold. I said, oh, my God, how cold is it? It's, it's like going to get maybe in the, uh, the lower 60s. And I go, <laughs> God, thoughts and prayers. I'm there with you. And then they'll go, what? well, how cold is it where you are? And I'll go, I think it's around 31. Oh, my God, how do you survive? And I go, but I grew up in this. I grew up in Ohio. This is, this is normal. Yeah, Paul. But there's always someone who lives in a colder environment. I had friends who, my, <laughs> I had relatives who lived in Minnesota, and I lived in Chicago. They're like, come on. Man, they they laugh at people from Chicago complaining about the cold because they lived in like Bemidji, <laughs> Minnesota, where that's way up north. Like that's what drives me nuts. It's like 18 degrees is still cold no matter where you are. It's still 18 degrees. Yeah, you know what I mean. But but I walked outside today and I go, all right, got my attention. Yeah. If, if somebody <laughs> if somebody from Los Angeles walked outside, they go, what, what what's happening in the world? What? Oh Big my god! Puffy jackets. Yes. <laughs> like, dude, it's 60. <laughs> It seems like old guys get used to cold. Well, you'll be up in Vermont, you'll see an old guy with like a T-shirt and overalls on. It's four. And you always got the guy behind the bar in cold weather cities, and he's got shorts on. <laughs> Just for some reason, it's like, yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, when I was a mailman. There was always a contest to see who could oh. keep wearing their shorts longest into the year. And there was this one dude, Merle. Who uh, he was from San Diego. You actually. don't mess with Merle. You, uh, you know what? Let me tell you something. All right, you do not mess with Merle. But he uh, he would wear them all year. He would go straight through. And he was from San Diego. We we're like, dang, dude. My nephew lives in uh, North Dakota, and he just sends me a picture of the temperature sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> what is considered the coldest state? Like Maine, North Dakota, Minnesota, Alaska, Alaska. Alaska. But is Alaska kind of like grandfathered out? So, so Alaska extreme. and Hawaii, we we grandfather them out. <laughs> out. Man, it feels like it gets cold in like Wyoming, Idaho, Montana. When there's nothing around and you know, when the wind comes through and you know, there's no houses, there's no trees, there's it's like, man, this is this is cold. When I, when we were in Minnesota for the Super Bowl, this is many, many, many years ago, <laughs> and I remember going outside, and it's one of those where I had to go outside. But I didn't want to go outside, and I'm with some people, and you know, I I thought, you know, I gotta be, uh, I gotta show them leadership here, and your nostrils are freezing, and and then that's why they have buildings connected in Minnesota, so you don't have to go outside. That's how you know a place is cold when yes. they have an inter an inside <laughs> web of hallways to walk through the entire city oh. where you don't ever have to go out of the building. Yeah, uh, I went ice fishing. That was when I went ice fishing with Chip Low Miller. In Minnesota, they just call it fishing, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, they just leave out the ice. It's assumed. <laughs> but we went ice fishing, and uh, Chip Low Miller was the field goal kicker for the Washington Redskins. And uh, he was from Minnesota. And I remember going, and it was unbelievably cold. Like, where it wanted to, you wanted to cry. Yes, Todd. Was it worth the experience to go through that? We, did you have any fun? Or you... Well, I had to do it. It was a. Oh, you just I, had to do I, it. I was doing a story on Chip Low Miller. Yeah, it was involuntary. Where I sure, go? Sure, let's go out. Nothing to do ice... today. Let's go out and uh, go ice fishing. Have a picnic. By the way, ice fishing, that's a big scam, because if you, <laughs> if you've been in the the cabins, they got cable, they got heaters, they got liquor, they got refrigerators. For some reason, they have refrigerators there. <laughs> And then you have just a hole in the ice, and then you just sit around, smoke cigars. You can park your truck on the lake, you know? Lake Minnetonka. Yes, Paulie? I have, if you want to, I know we got a break. I have the coldest state in America based off research. Like right now, today? Or traditionally, oh, historically. Traditionally. Okay. Coldest state in America traditionally. Now, are we taking Alaska out? Alaska's out. Okay. Because they're like, they're laughing at us. Okay. Our Fairbanks affiliate, they're laughing at us. I'm going to go North Dakota. Seton? Uh, I'm going to go Minnesota. Minnesota. Also, I'm getting texts from people in Los Angeles showing me their thermostat or the temperature. <laughs> like it's 39 <laughs> degrees right now, okay? Oh, prayers, thoughts, and prayers. That is pretty cold, though, for Alex. Yes, it is. Uh, Todd, 
The, I'm going to say Wisconsin. Wisconsin. We're going to take a break. Paulie will give the answer coming up right after this. Before the break, we were uh, wondering what is the coldest state in America? I said, now we took Alaska out of the equation. I took North Dakota. Fritzy took Wisconsin. Wisconsin and Seton took Minnesota. Paulie, the answer is? I was going to guess Maine, but that was going to be my guess before I clicked on it. Here we go. The coldest state in America, based off yearly average temperatures in winter, in winter, mm-hmm. North Dakota. Hello. Minnesota's number two. Mm-hmm. Maine, number three. Mm-hmm. Wisconsin, Vermont, South Dakota, New Hampshire, Montana. Not that cold huh. in Wyoming. Really? Now, here's one. Okay. Coldest okay. state in winter, in, in summer, where it doesn't never warms up. Wyoming is second to Alaska, then Idaho, Maine, and Oregon. Huh. But the coldest state year-round, uh, removing Alaska, is North Dakota. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> Have yeah. you been to Wyoming? I've been through Wyoming. Been through. I bet a lot of people could say they've been through Wyoming, but I don't know if people stop. It's like one of those places that touring bands never go to. I went to a rodeo once in Sheridan, Wyoming. I was driving through. We stopped and watched a rodeo. And it was hmm. really good. I'd yeah. like to go there. Well, I've been watching Yellowstone, so oh, I'm, mm. I'm ready to go to Montana. Get yourself a ranch. Yeah. I've got the coldest cities in America. What, Todd? That's not why they call it Wyoming. Like, why would you go there? I don't want to upset anybody in the lovely state of Wyoming. I was curious. But why did you say that then? Because we were talking about like going through Wyoming as opposed to actually spending quality time there. It's kind of a place you go through to get to where you're actually going. What's colder? The response I'm getting to my little joke. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I knew where you were yeah. going. Okay, thank you, Todd. 